Hello, so today on the Irrelevant unboxings we have a Elm 327 ODB2 scanner so I bought it on the Deal Extreme Europe Direct for about 6.6 .6 euros it's roughly a, a little bit shy of seven and a half dollars so what do we have here so as you can see we have ODB scanner itself interface supports all ODB2 protocols and this device is highly qualifying high quality diagnostic tool it can test kinds of cars with fast speed right it supports key WP2000 and all those over protocols also can support heavy duty truck uh, and so on this is so one part very professional it can read live data so both capital letters all right can meet customers to make second exploitation all right so basically we connect it to the car and via bluetooth you can connect to your uh, phone or laptop so what do you have in the side of the box we have any teeny tiny CD which contains Windows computer software and also Android phone software and I tried to test it out with uh, both PC and uh, Android both worked well well at least some of the programs I tried to tried to test it with my Mac but for the life of me I could not just get it working so basically it has three LEDs link ODB power you can switch and switch on switch off so that's good you can connect it to the car and it works so what's left now it's to test it on the car so depending on your car the ODB socket is going to be in different places in my case it's under the mat here for most people it's somewhere around the left side of the driving wheel up down there or in the middle but you just have to check where your over cars is so let me take just a screwdriver pop that out and <laughs> another thing here's my ODB plug where it goes and it's as you can see it's pretty deep in there and this one it's small and when I try to push it in it's very hard to maneuver and place place it right push it in but nevertheless it's not that hard you can reach it around so next step is to plug it in so after you plug your ODB scanner there's left to turn it on go through all the LEDs to make sure they are working and now I'm going to be testing out it with my laptop Windows laptop scan master Elm this is the only uh, software from the CD which actually works so we go to connection properties search for devices Sorry that I'm not recording on the screen, but my Windows laptop is actually pretty shitty, so... Yeah, we found it. Let's press test, so we make sure that connection is right. Somehow it cannot test. Yeah, we get connected. Test successful on device found. Okay, then press connect right here. Okay, okay. Now, first things first, vehicle info. Let's see what we can find out about that. Shows identification number, 
verification numbers, maybe I will blur it out, I don't know. System status, let's read. This information, ODB of two supports, misfire, complete. Okay, so what you're really interested in is, is trouble codes. And as you can see right here, I have two at the moment, so P0300 one and P0300. Random multiple single cylinder misfire detected. And actually the first code explains that it's the first cylinder misfiring. I have checked it, the code, it means that the possible causes is either faulty spark plug or faulty uh, uh, and what is it called? Uh, uh, the ignition or faulty ignition coil. So I'm probably going to switch both of them because I had similar problems with this car and this freeze frame data that is sometimes occurring. It's cylinder four misfiring detected. So I have to check it out also because I have few uh, coils, ignition coils changed, but I guess I had to change all of them in order to have good, 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 good result. So basically here you can choose calculated load value, uh, let's see, engine RPM, what may vehicle speed is I'm going to be stationary in there absolute throttle position you can you can take a lot of measurements in the real time oh well so plus read and right now my car is idling around at seven and a half hundred So there's that, with my Renault 2004 Scenic this works very well and for the price what you're getting it's just amazing. So next video on my car I guess is going to be changing the spark plugs or rather spark plug and, and ignition coil.